Juicy blueberry. Do you like blueberries? I love blueberries. Frozen or fresh? I found my love on Blueberry Hill. No, I found my thrill. <laughs> Whatever it is. Here's oh, our yeah. color palette and our soap dough blueberries. Aren't they cute? And of course our moon biodegradable blue sparkles. Can't make blueberry soap without those. Oh, the fragrance. Let's get that fragrance up at windypointsoapsupplies.com. Blueberry. All right, you ready for it? Yeah. Fragrance. A great scent for summer. Just picked sweet and juicy blueberry. <laughs> That's another one of those descriptions. There's a big clue there what it smells like. Yeah. And guess what? It's not just for summer. I think, you know, fall reminds me of berries and pies and stuff like that. So, this is part of the fall and winter soap release, and it's available at fruitsvaloon.com. But I suppose you want to see the soap before you go and actually buy it. So, let's watch this video. I've added the lye water solution to the oils. Gonna stir too much.com. And did we whizzy whizzy let's get busy yet? No? That's your job now. I just go really stirring too much. I mean you can't stir too much. It's important to scrape the sides of the Oh yeah, so we're putting our piping off to the side here. I must have whizzy whizzy let's get busy it. Missed that. I was reading the fragrance notes. No, it's a blueberry. <laughs> anyway, I do like how this... Oh, I used pears and berries. Hang on. Hang on. You're going to get more bang for your buck. That was Island Escape. So, sounds like a name for an old 50s gumshoe. Fragrance. My name is Perry Berry. I'm on your case. <laughs> I made a soap called Perry Berry. It's not this one, though. Maybe that's because of Perry Mason, eh? Yeah. Maybe. Pears and berries. I'm going to tell you my mistake. I did not use blueberry fragrance oil. I wanted it to be more interesting. No. Please tell me you didn't. Here's the problem. Some websites, when they no longer carry a fragrance, because they change their fragrances often, no longer have the description of the fragrance there. So I cannot give it to you, but it smells like berries. Which is no surprise, people. No. And this is the time of year for berries and pies and all that, but Obviously, on this particular day, I was craving blue. Can you crave colors? You can crave okay, so colors when, you, when you're wearing something or you, you're decorating something. Yeah, you can crave colors. Really good quality titanium dioxide, oil soluble, going into the bowl. <laughs> if you're wondering why it gets so white, the batter and the frosting. It's because of the titanium dioxide I actually use. It costs a little bit more money. It's in the description below the video if you're a soap maker. It's from Amazon. You buy it by the half pound, the pound. Um, can't think of the name of the company offhand because it's a strange name. This one I didn't really want too white. We're doing a simple drop swirl here and this one actually turns out perfectly. Yay! But um, if you're getting frustrated with your titanium dioxide, try the one from Amazon. It, it just gets really white. So three layers of blue over top of one another. Kind of looks like the ocean to me, that. Well, it won't look like the ocean to you blue for long. Blue waves, dark waves. Very pretty blues, though. So, um, did I already say that this soap is probably available at fruitsofaloon.com by the time you're seeing this video? Or was that the last narration? Last one. 
Okay, so this soap is probably available at fruitsofaloon.com. I don't know why I did this, except to flatten out the soap. I mean, it doesn't look good. Here's our piping. And whizzy, whizzy that TD in there. Piping is white with possibly a blue drizzle down the side of the piping bag. I'm trying to recall. Why am I talking like a robot? What did I just do there? I have no idea. So, open piping tip. I find lately that if you pipe with your piping a little looser, you'll get a nicer result. Remember that piping tip was driving me crazy? The peaks? Oh, yeah, just, yeah. They were too stiff. That's what it was. So I've been piping with it a little looser, and it just looks so much better, in my opinion. So let's see what I do here. I'm sure it's the open circle tip. Big one. Okay, why am I doing oh, There we go. Some blue drizzle down the piping bag. Nice white piping coming up. And there it is. And that's the one you're using now, isn't it, all the time? Not all the time, no. But I like the layer of the top of that. I think it looks cool. Well, I just wanted to flatten it out. And those little UFOs. Yeah. But you see, the piping's a little looser than I normally do, and it just looks better. And we've got soap dough blueberries going on top. Along with some sparkles. I wonder if I drive people crazy with all the sparkles I use. What do you think about sparkles? Well, they make the soap, they finish the soap off, don't they? Would that, would sparkles make you avoid using a soap as a man? Not really, no. No? It's all okay. part of the presentation, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. They had to go on there. Just had to. So let's sparkle that up, stick our blueberries on, and then we'll cut it. But they all complement it, don't they, because of the white. There's different colours there, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I used a lot of sparkles there. Oh, it's the blueberries. Silly little leaves on them, but they're cute. You have to admit. I'm not sure why the whole soap isn't in frame, but um, let's get on with this here. Super fast mode. Is it making you hungry? They always make me hungry, these soaps. They like cakes and ice cream, don't they? Yeah. We've got some little blue balls. Oh, jeez. <laughs> little blue cake sprinkles. To go on the other side, for whatever reason. I don't know. I like little pearls, don't they? Yeah. Light blue, dark blue, medium blue. we got every kind of blue. Let's turn this puppy around. Do a close-up for you. There she is. Well, they're going to be thick slices them again as well because of the... Uh, they're about an inch. They're about around, an inch. Yeah. The blueberries are an inch, so the slices will be about an inch. But that doesn't make a difference, does it? It's just... The soap. soap. Every Do soap is different. Every soap is uh, weighs approximately the same. I, I always like the inside, what they look to turn out like. Yeah, the drop swirl in this one is... That's what I strive for. It doesn't always work out, but I like it. It's one of my faves. So check the website, see if there's any left, if you please. And if you don't, that's okay. Maybe you just enjoy watching our videos. A lot of other soap makers watching us. 
Uh, God knows they don't need soap. With all the collective body of people that she had each ideas and things. Yeah, like basically all I watch is other soap makers too. I love a good drop swirl. So yeah, these are ready to go. Ready to go. Beautiful colours as well. Well, you know, I was on a roll. And let's see if there's a little sliver left. I'm hoping so that we can try it. Our last there one. We go. If you haven't subscribed and you like watching soap making videos, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And look out for these smaller short videos that we do. Tuesdays. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified. There's a brace. A brace again. A brace of soaps. And we'll see you next time. Thanks Until for the watching. Next. Bye bye bye. Bye.